two months ago, I started working at a company called Prospectus. Prospectus is a recruitment consultancy firm who focuses on working with non-profit uh, non organizations. And that's an element of it I really enjoy. And within the company, I work in the talent attraction team as an advertisement administrator. It's my role to work alongside my team in making sure that the entire process of the jobs that we post and advertise and all the other different tasks in between go smoothly as possible. When it comes to thinking about things that I've learned during my placement that I haven't learned elsewhere or previously, I've really got to consider the fact that I learned what I want to do for a living, or at least I got a bigger picture of an idea of what I want to do. So I feel like, like many people, previously I had absolutely no clue what I wanted to do. Uh, and I genuinely mean that in the sense of I went to uni to study politics and international relations. But whilst I was doing that course, I was looking on how to do admin. I was looking at how to be a personal assistant. I was advertising almost anywhere that was considered a decent job. I knew I wanted a job, but other than that, I had no clue. And so I pursued one of the things I thought I'd be good at, which was admin, uh, which is how I sort of found the role of prospectus. And considering my experiences at the company so far, I've got to say my interest has expanded massively, not just in terms of actually confirming that I do enjoy and am somewhat good at admin work, but also a really good sense of interest in other things like advertisement. I'd, I'd never considered advertisement before. I had such an image of it in my head, but um, completely changed my perspective on it. And I really do enjoy it. And I feel like that's opened a door for me in the future. And I feel like it's also opened up other doors for me, such as actually being interested in non uh, working alongside nonprofit organizations as well, as well as just charity work or even recruitment. It's really given me a sense of an idea of the things that I can accomplish if I want to. I feel like, as cliche as this may sound, one thing that I've definitely developed and learned a lot more about is a sense of confidence, uh, especially in terms of my ability. Um, previously, I know I could get things done, but I've always been concerned that when it comes to a workplace, that I felt like for some reason my standard of work would be a lot less than a lot of others. And I was really nervous about this and I was nervous about being judged for it. But I very quickly found my place at Prospectus. And thanks to a lot of the people who helped mentor me and helped sort of teach me the ropes. And I think I can calmly say that I feel a lot more confident in my abilities to actually get things done to a lot better standard than I ever could before. And I'm, I'm proud of that and I'm proud of learning that. Uh, the EY Foundation sort of aims to provide this employab uh, employability training and support to people like me. Not only did I very quickly start to enjoying the sessions, you know, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the people I, uh, who sort of led these sessions. I enjoyed the people who joined alongside these sessions. Uh, but very quickly, it gave me a new perspective on things I hadn't considered before. So whereas I'd dealt with a lot of presentation skills before, I'd always done that in the sense of doing a presentation to earn a grade or in front of my peers and there was no huge amount of pressure for it. And what the EY Foundation showed me was that so many different skills that we've learned previously, there's such a different context in the workplace in terms of when you're just giving a presentation at school or university or et cetera, the only person you're kind of representing is yourself. And if it goes wrong, you know, you're reflecting your personal work ethic. At work, not only are you doing that, you're also representing your company, you're representing the people you work with. And in a lot of different things, you're representing the sector itself. You have to give in so much more effort and time and research that I may have not exactly given as much of in the back in the day. And learning that, which I didn't really expect, really changed my perspective.
Other areas that we cover include personal branding, which is how you work, uh, how you work as a part of a team and how you mix well with other people. And we also covered networking, which is how we can sort of try and get new opportunities from people without coming across as rude. And we also have other things such as guest speakers about people who come in from all sorts of life, or different life sort of backgrounds and opportunities and talk about how they got where they are. Overall, in my opinion, the kickstart scheme does exactly that. It gives a kickstart to a lot of us who need it the most. You know, a lot of us who, especially during the pandemic and everything going on, really struggled finding work. And on a personal note, I, I was someone who struggled with this a lot. I I graduated from uni with a lot of these different ideas and expectations of what I wanted to achieve. And due to a lot of different reasons, including the pandemic, it didn't pan out. And I found myself unemployed and needing to pay bills. And so the Kickstart scheme sort of gave me the financial assistance I needed whilst searching for the next career that I wanted, or the first career actually. And through working with my work coach and the different ideas, it opened me to the possibilities of what I actually wanted to do. And thanks to this whole process, I found Prospectus and I found my life working with charities and non-profit organizations. I found that I like advertisement and recruitment and I don't think I would have found this if it wasn't for the Kickstart scheme.